Now let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, the first Seventh-day Adventist baptism in the U.S. state of Washington. Welcome to this week in Adventist history. On May 13, in 1861, a new company was incorporated in the state of Michigan, the Advent Review Publishing Association. Seven months earlier, in October 1860, Sabbatarian Adventist leaders, meeting in a conference at Battle Creek, had taken the historic decision to found a legal association to establish ownership of the printing press. But it took several months to get the Michigan State Legislature to pass the necessary law. The association, founded on May 13, 1861, was later renamed the Review and Herald Publishing Association, which currently has its headquarters in Hagerstown, Maryland. Forty-eight years later, May 13 was the first day of the 37th General Conference Session held in Washington, D.C., attended by 328 delegates. This session created the first divisions, the North American, European, and Asiatic divisions. And General Conference Treasurer Erwin H. Evans moved to become the first president of the Asiatic division, being replaced as GC Treasurer by W.T. Knox, President Arthur Daniels and Executive Secretary William Spicer were both re-elected. And on May 17, in 1874, Isaac D. Van Horn conducted the first Seventh-day Adventist baptism in what today is the U.S. state of Washington in the town of Walla Walla, where on the same day he organized what was the first local Adventist church in what was then the Oregon and Washington Territory. Walla Walla Church then had 35 members. That was this week in Adventist history.